All right, pretty excited today. We're heading up to Brighton uh, Ski Resort. You've got Harley Davidson in demoing their new Pan America. And uh, Ronnie and I signed up, and we're going to go take a ride on the Pan America. And I think it'll be pretty good because I'm going to compare it to my GS1200 here. See what all the hype is about. I gotta get out of this rain mode. <laughs> Holy shit, dude! Open it up! <laughs> dude, this has some dead up and down, especially when you let it rev up. Woohoo! <laughs> dude, I love this thing. I'm glad you're having a fun on it. It's pretty fun. <laughs> Kind of feels like a like a small adventure bike, dude. Yeah. Kind of like it. It's kind of expensive though to fill this small. Right. But it's all that engine technology is expensive. Ooh, you're right. Once you hit six, it wants to go. It just flies, dude. It's so nice. We've talked about it before. Like I like the top end power. Yeah. You're not really into that. So I'm like, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you for it. Like, I like the low end too, but there's something exciting, right? <laughs> I don't feel like the GS loses it at the top end, though. Did you ever take it all the way up? I don't know. It doesn't pull as hard as this, but it, it did pull much better. Like, that's where you felt the power is, like, going up in the range. I'm getting a little used to how I need to kind of push it into the turns. It's like, okay, it doesn't dive into a corner as smooth, but you can still make it. You just got to... You got to manipulate it a little bit more. Sorry, what were you saying about the power, the sound? I like it, but I like the BMW more. Which one is louder? This one's a little louder. Feels that way, huh? Um, there's nothing on here I like more than the BMW but the ride height. Okay, so you like the suspension set. You kind of already felt that way. Yeah, um, learned about it, like, I do cool think it competes that? pretty good, though. It's really smart that they're cheaper. If they I were priced so. the same, they'd have a really hard sell. Yeah, if they priced it the same. Because I think the handling, the braking, the power is is all better on the GS. I do like how small it feels. Like, it definitely feels like an 800 to me. It does. I don't, I don't get this vibe like, this is a 1200. It doesn't feel like it wants to tip over like my butt. No, it's, it's like kind of interesting. It definitely is. Actually, I feel more comfortable lane splitting with this than my bike. Definitely a lot skinnier, huh? My modes don't seem to change as much as this one does. Like, I put it in rain mode and it's, you notice it's it, but it's, it's still got a ton of power. <laughs> this is like, the modes are very different, which is probably almost a good thing. Yeah, I, was, I would say rain mode feels like a 650 V-twin. And then the other ones, like the highway one, felt more like an 800. Yeah. Then the score was getting up there at 1,000. You don't really feel it until you go faster, though. It just never feels like, oh, this is insane. Right. Until you rev it up, and then, yeah, you feel that way every time. I'm still in second gear. I thought I was down in first. It was a fun ride. I'm already yeah. used to the bike. It feels good and comfortable. Yeah, I don't feel like it's super refined, though. I think you're right. Like when we went over that bump back there, it was kind of rough. Yeah, it feels almost like a prototype. I mean, it's mushy when you go over corners and stuff. I mean, it's not bad, not gonna lie. Like, this is still a nice bike, so. I do like it. I do like it. Right back into my same spot. <laughs> He'll come back. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 